today on the vlog, we get into a lot of nitty gritty on running the business. In the beginning half, I talk about the testimonial project that we filmed where we made a bunch of testimonial videos. And now I'm thinking about what the release plan is gonna be. How do we maximize this? How do we get as many touch points as possible? And then what's the goal of this? How could we use this to create a flywheel to generate more? And in the second half of the vlog, you'll see a shirt change that signifies we are on to the next topic. And we're talking about making a schedule change in the South Bay and other locations and all the downstream impacts that's going to have and all the little things that you have to change, how you make announcements, how you let everybody know, and then inevitably you're gonna upset other people. So how do you kind of deal with all those different pieces with one simple change? All my marketers and business owners out there, here's how I'm thinking about testimonials right now. So we just shot this big production testimonial shoot. We've got three really, really great testimonials with three different customer avatars of our members. A professional athlete, a former NFL player, a businessman who started a supplement company and a creative agency, and a director of a fashion company who's a gal who does strength training. All amazing ambassadors of Allegiant. Took a long time to get the testimonials, but we've got 16 by nine and we've got nine by 16 for both the platforms, right? But what I don't wanna do is just post this like once and then it's just gone in the sea of content, right? Because everything's just coming up like, so there's just so much stuff out there. I wanna get as much mileage out of this as possible, but I can only pay the um, my friend on the production side to help us make so many assets. And if I start to crank out a bunch more assets, it's just gonna cost me a lot more money. So what do you do? I just sat down for a second and I just started brainstorming ideas of like, how could I release this and get more mileage out of it? And that led me just to one thing, to another, to another. So here's how I'm thinking about it. I've got the main asset that I've recorded telling these great user testimonials, real stories, authentic, not overproduced, just the, the perfect story. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to that and I'm just gonna transcribe it. I'm just gonna write it all down, right? Then I'll take screenshots from the testimonials and I'll overlay some text over it, just of like some really great emotional kind of like catchy pieces that I know are gonna hit. And because they're from the different customer demographics, focused on different aspects of what makes Allegiant great. For example, the program and weight loss or the community aspect or the injury prevention aspect. And we can pull all those pieces together. So now not only are you getting these testimonials out, but they're hitting on core product differentiators that make you unique or make Allegiant unique, right? I've technically got three interviews, but I'm gonna turn this into maybe six pieces, right? I'm gonna turn it into like, hey, Day one, hey, tomorrow we're gonna release the full interview. So it'll be a little bit of a pre-promotion sort of thing. Then I'll, maybe I'll do a carousel swipe and you'll see a little text, then you'll see a little highlight of the video. We'll get people excited about it. Then we'll drop the full interview the next day and then we'll do like a quick recap or maybe we'll have some other just quote highlights that kind of like reinforce the story. And so now you start to get more touch points out there instead of just three posts, for example, three interviews, now you've got six. The other thing, is I'm thinking, well, what's the goal of this? I would love to generate new members from this. I would love to generate some inbound leads and I think maybe we'll do that, but my experience tells me that probably not. We'll probably get a couple double taps, a couple comments, more of a community builder. It'll live on the website where it can now be like a research vehicle for us when people are thinking about is Allegiant for me, they'll see these stories sort of mid funnel kind of thing and, and be more excited about it. What I wanna do now is I'll be able to use this as a solicitation device to get more people to raise in our community to raise their hand and say, I want to tell my testimony. I want to tell my story. I'll just do like something simple, like a Google form. Hey, click the link in bio or Hey, click, do you have a unique story that you want to tell us at Allegiant? And let's just say each of these three interviews get us at least two, you know, requests of like, Hey, I'll tell my story on video. Now we got six potential leads on doing that. I've got six more videos and then the cycle repeats itself and you just keep doing this and we, we can create a repository of more content and more testimonials. So if I flash forward six months from now or three months from now, what if we had 50 of these testimonials cut in the right way where you land on this page and your research or your advertising or whatever, and you just see a gang of testimonials um, and you watch them and you're like, wow, this is something special. Like this is real. The other piece is like, all right, well, how do I execute that aspect? It'd be one thing to like get people to raise their hand, but, and, and give us a testimonial, but pre-production, shoot logistics, filming, editing, it's a ton of extra work and I don't wanna take that on. But because I've got my friend Nick helping us out on a remote basis in terms of um, five videos per month where he can edit our iPhone footage and make it look a whole lot nicer and just like have a pro element to it, what I'll be able to do now is I'll be able to film some of these things, I'll upload it to a cloud, 
cloud, he gets it and we got a system where now we can just kind of rip through some of these videos and he'll spit it back to me way more professionally and way more quickly than I would be able to do it on my own, right? So now we're thinking, you know, let's just take a step back and look at like what we're doing right now as a marketer or a business owner. It's like the holistic process of take, get as much mileage out of your idea as you possibly can. And then think about, can I leverage this into other things? And then once you sort of get, you know, 10 minutes to create this brainstorm idea, just 10 minutes. And then it's like, what's the next action? Because me, I'll, I'll get kind of like, oh, great, I, I got this all figured out and I'll kind of like shelf it and I'll move on and I'll do exactly this with something else. And I risk that rubber not beating the road and actually action actually happening. So what do I need to do? I, I say to myself, all right, what's the next action? What's the next physical thing that I need to do to advance this project and make something happen here? Can I capture it just to say like, hey, this is my testimonial release project. I know it's there. And then what's the next thing that I have to do to get this thing moving? I write it, I write down a couple ideas, I figure it out. And now on these post-its, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I've got the brain form, brainstorm, I've got exactly what I need to do. And now I just need to go do it. Just made a schedule change in Santa Monica and the South Bay. So from a new business development standpoint, this gives me more capacity to get leads in at that 6.30 time. And for some people, it's usually the Goldilocks hour where it's like 5.30 a.m. is too early, 7.30 a.m. is too late. These people like to train at 6.30 a.m. And if that was the case, I found in some of these sales meetings and stuff that's like, I was just, that, that was a bottleneck. And they're like, well, I can't, I can't do this because you don't have a class time if I'm not cleared for team. Inherently, when you change one thing in the system, uh, other people are gonna be upset, so I'm probably gonna get some emails of like, I love 6.30 a.m. team, I can't believe it, you know, I'm gonna terminate my membership because you guys changed it, go back to it, something like that. But you just kinda have to look at all the different variables that are at play and see what makes the most sense to make a change. A lot of kind of back-end stuff that you have to do, actually the logistics of scheduling it in the system, in the software system, but once you get that knocked out, then you gotta let all your staff know through Slack of like, hey, we're making this change. And this Charlie Munger taught me, which he learned from Bell Labs, you have to tell people why you're doing something because if you tell them why you're doing something, they're gonna remember it and they're gonna be much more likely to get behind it instead of just dictating it down. So, so we get a lot of questions of how does Allegiant work all the time? It seems obvious to me, but it's like for the prospect, they don't actually know how to do it, right? And it's obvious to our staff, but that's doesn't matter if we know how to do it. It matters that the prospect can figure it out. And in a very confusing landscape of boutique fitness, like it's, you know, where you just go, just show up to any class and that's how you do it. It's like, well, no, like when you do a total body strength and conditioning program with progressive overload and you've got three practices and how you stretch that up over a week, over a month, like it's hard for people to figure out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making the thumbnail for a uh, YouTube video that we made where it's just basically me uh, explaining like, here's how Allegiant works. Here's team, here's strength, here's practice four. Here's where the idea came from. Here's which program is best for you. And just thinking like in the prospect's mind of like, if I was new to Allegiant, like how would I explain this? Um, and how would that person understand it? And then I'm just gonna put it on the website and it'll just like be there so that person can just click it and they can see it and go like, oh, okay, cool. I have an, a better idea of which class is gonna be right for me. So anyways, um, check this out. I'm going into Photoshop right now. I'm gonna take a screenshot of the video. I'm gonna put some type over it. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and then I'm gonna add it to the website. So how does Allegiant work? We are a strength. 